Argentina is, is, I guess, a lot of people are going to say that are in that are in out of the reach place, but Argentina is very idiosyncratic. It's very particular, very particular, very peculiar. From some point of view, in media, it's very difficult here. Uh, everything is quite chaotic. So from one point of view, uh, well, just in general life in Argentina, no doesn't mean no, yes doesn't mean yes. So like you, in your bureaucracy of setting things up for interviews and press conferences and whatever is, is so difficult here, you know, because um, there's there's no there's no line where you should stand that you shouldn't cross over when you have your press card it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get in without saying the right thing to the right person so it can be very very confusing um uh, from the other point of view um from the other point of view people are very welcoming here they people like to be seen so you know there's n there's not much difficulty about getting people to speak on camera another difficulty is that you know, uh, media here and and uh, news is totally polarized which is very difficult to work in Christian. So I, when I go on the street and I ask people for a comment on whatever issue, they're like, who are you? Like, uh, so who do you work for? Uh, are, are you, uh, is that, are you left or right? And I'm like, it doesn't matter. And and, and journalism here is, is very, is very complicated because uh, it's getting like that everywhere. It, and to be honest, it's following a trend that uh, that r is really profound in Argentina, that there's this whole concept of activist journalism, which I can kind of understand, but it's a, a, a dichotomy in terms for me, because, for instance, I, I try to explain to people here, I, I my point of view just doesn't matter. I just I want to observe and communicate and get all points of views in there. So that can be very difficult and it kind of infl Im impacts on everything you're doing because they want to know who you are and so on. Uh, my saving grace is like, oh, I'm from Ireland, so I'm not British, I'm not English, I'm not German or whatever. So that saves me a lot, you know what I mean? I work for a US media, but I say I'm from AP and they have no idea who AP or Reuters or whatever are. So I just say, I'm from Ireland and that saves me. So it kind of breaks down barriers, you know, so that's my, so you have to, well, it's just not, not everywhere, not everywhere, but most places I've been, that's, that saved me a lot, you know, it saved me a lot. Uh, so I delve into things like that. Um, uh, and a lot of the time you'll come here and people will see you as a foreigner and they'll say places like, you should never go into the, what they call Vijas, shanty towns here. But uh, like, I, I got over that very fast. And like, I did some of the first stories I'd done were in the, in the shanty towns because there's a whole aspect of life that's super important here because what you see in the center of Buenos Aires, which looks like a Milan or a London, is beautiful and and super um, elite and beautiful buildings and so on is 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 you go five kilometers out the road and it's like it's you're going back to 50 years ago and people are living in in dire situations in some scenarios um so there's so much more to it than that and you shouldn't be afraid you just need to be careful have your wits about you um uh, but really try to delve into life here and and yeah get outside the center of the of the city people everyone here that's you as a foreigner and they'll say the me but people you'll meet they say oh you can't go there but yes you actually you really can you know you really can and there's so many stories out there that that can be told you know and 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 from some point of view argentina is not super interesting from the, the political situation which is which dominates everything from a local point of view here is like all news is like about you know various factions of politics here uh, but there's, there's you amount of interesting stories it has everything in argentina is the biggest or the smallest or the beautiful or the most beautiful it has the biggest waterfall in the world it has the biggest gla glaciers in the world it has the biggest penguin colony it has the biggest disparity between wealthy and poor it has the best footballers in the world it has the best wine this is this is what argentina said the best wine in the world it has the worst politicians the most corruption uh you know so it's really curious like it's fascinating like really fascinating place you know uh, so there's so much can be done here and from my point of view Sundays it just wears you out you know Argentina in Buenos Aires uh, alone it's one of the other biggest best it has like 500 last year it had 580 protests in the the center of Buenos Aires alone every day there's like every day outside my building there's someone protesting something you know what I mean and uh, it's fascinating you know but it just can wear you out you know it can wear you out among the other things like what do I really need to cover that you know uh, but then you go away for a short while you think this place is the most colorful place in the world you know so there's so many stories to be told here and um, and really interesting people and at the base is really really good people you know um, so so there's a there's a lot there's a lot of material you know there really is it's, it's a great place and the region is a great place. I go to Paraguay quite a bit and no one has 
an iota about Paraguay. No yeah, one yeah. has any idea. It's just the most fascinating place. It has, it has, because it's one of those places that's far from everything that no one knows anyone anything about. So, like, actually, it's a place where the, the um, the various uh, important uh, historic. Uh, communities have used as a place to escape from, so you'll find like <laughs> oh yeah, a lot of Nazi, <laughs> ex Nazis, <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> and and it has like you know, I did a story a couple of years ago about the only Australian uh, colony outside Australia in the world in the world, like it's this tiny in the middle of nowhere in in Paraguay, it's called New Australia. And in 1950 or whatever, a heap of Australians decided they want to use they wanted to set up this utopian community because there's not the enough space in Australia. <laughs> well, yeah, it doesn't make any sense, but they just set up this tiny community in the middle of nowhere. And today you go there and there's still the remnants of that and there wow. are remnants like the, the generations or whatever. And like a million of the weirdest, yeah, yeah. most fascinating stories in the world in places that people would never have thought about, you know. Um, so it's fascinating, absolutely fascinating part of the world.